changing the pitch of the sound. The pitch of the sound can be changed in a stringed instrument. A guitar is an example of a stringed instrument. Some strings of the guitar are thicker than others. Stringed instruments have pegs that you can use to tune the instrument by making the strings looser or tighter. When the guitar is turned, the pitch gives a perfect sound. If you listen to music and the instrument's sound is removed, then it sounds horrible. You can also make the strings shorter by pressing them down. These actions change the pitch of the notes. Here's an activity. Make high-pitched and low-pitched sounds on a guitar. Plug the thick strings and thin strings on a guitar. Which strings make a higher-pitched note? Answer is the thin strings. Tighten one of the strings by turning the peg. Now plug the string. Does the sound have a higher or lower pitch than before? It sounds higher. Loosen the string by turning the peg the other way. Predict the pitch of the sound when you plug the string. It sounds lower. Have fun with wind instruments. You already know a few wind instruments. For example, a flute. Each of the pictures show a wind instrument. Some have one pipe and others have many pipes. People make music from wind instruments by blowing down or across the tops of hollow pipes. This makes the air vibrate inside the pipe to make a sound. To change the pitch of sound on a wind instrument, you have to block one or more of the holes so that the column of air inside the pipe is shorter or longer. Now here are a few questions. Complete these sentences by choosing the correct phrase. The more tightly stretched the string, the higher pitched or lower pitched the note. The answer is, if the string is more tightly stretched, the pitch is high. The thicker the string, the higher pitched or lower pitched the note, it's lower pitched. Are the vibrations faster or slower when you tighten a string? The answer is it's faster. Are the vibrations faster or slower when you pluck a thinner string? The answer is faster.